Um, thank you. Thank you, um, Hollywood Foreign Press, so much. Um, I, I want to thank you for encouraging people to talk more about politics. Uh, it's a great year for that, obviously, in all the films. And thanks to HBO, which uh, for me stands for Heroic Brave Operation. Lynn Amato, Richard Plepler, and Mike Lombardo, incredible place to make movies like this. Um, and on behalf of, <laughs> absolutely, on behalf of uh, Tom Hanks and Gary Getzman and myself, I just also want to thank the, the brilliant authors Mark Halperin, John Heileman, who wrote the book, our incredible maestro, uh, Danny Strong, I call him Danny the Strong. And, um, and, you know, our cast, this incredible cast, Woody, Ed, Sarah, and the most, one of the most amazing actresses I've ever worked with, Julianne Moore, so brave to take this Woo! role. <laughs> now, now with you and Tina Fey, we have three of the most incredible impersonations of Sarah Palin and counting Sarah Palins. <laughs> Thanks to Everyman Pictures. Shout out to my team, Jimmy, Dan, Ari, Mark, and Howard, our phenomenal crew headed by Amy Sayers. Uh, my sons, Jackson and Sam, my muse, friend, lover, and Jewish rock angel, Susanna Hoffs. <laughs> and happy birthday, Josh Hoffs and Uncle Joe Friedberg. Thank you guys so much. Love it, everybody. Great job, you guys. Thank you. Here are the nominees for Best Actress in a Miniseries or TV Movie. As the former First Lady who became Secretary of State, Sigourney Weaver, Political Animals. As a legendary war correspondent, Martha Gellhorn, Nicole Kidman, Hemingway and Gellhorn. As the nun trying to manage an institution and her own wild demons, Jessica Lange, American Horror Story, Asylum. During her time making the movie The Birds, Sienna Miller, The Girl. As 2008 vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, Julianne Moore, Game Change. As a psychic who solves her own murder, Darcy St. Fudge, Dog President. She, she can't win, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think she can win. <laughs> and the Golden Globe goes to Dar no, uh, Julianne Moore, Game Change. This is Julianne Moore's second Golden Globe in seven nominations. In 1994, Julianne won a special Golden Globe Award for ensemble cast for the film Shortcuts. Oh my gosh, my children would be so relieved. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so gratified to the Hollywood Foreign Press. This was one of my favorite jobs ever. It was, uh, working at HBO was such a wonderful experience. And I say thank you to Tom Hanks and Gary Getzman and everybody at Playtone and the amazing Danny Strong with his foolproof script and, and the wonderful actors, Ed and Sarah and Woody. We had such a great time together. They were so wonderful and we laughed so hard every day. My hair and makeup people, uh, uh, Lane Offers and Alan Dangieri for transforming me. And, um, Lee Dillon, my vocal coach. Um, and, and I, you know, and I want to give a, a and well, and, and Jay Roach, who gives you kind of anything you've ever wanted in a director, support and structure and inspiration and was a true creative partner. Um, and I'd like to give a shout out to two people who I think were, made a significant difference in the 2008 election, Tina Fey and Katie Couric. And Bart, I love you. Thank you for 17 great years. And Cal and Liv, I'll see you at the varsity basketball game tomorrow. Thank you. From the upcoming film Broken City, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Good evening. Do you hear the people say the grittiness of life in 19th century France, the conflict between right and wrong, and the concept of redemption are brought to life on screen in an unforgettable musical journey. With four nominations, including Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway, this is Les Miserables.
You can feel the electricity in this room. Which stars will take home the biggest awards on this, the landmark 70th celebration? Plus more from Tina and Amy next on the Golden Globes. One boy and one girl from each district are selected to fight to the death in an outdoor arena until the finer survivor is named the winner. This is the same process by which the HFPA selects their president. Please welcome HFPA president and world-class archer, Dr. Aida Takla O'Reilly. Look at the crowd gathered here tonight. Amazing. Will the cameras please scan the, the room so the world out there can enjoy the greatest talent in television and cinema? Are you scanning? <laughs> it's been my honor to serve as the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association these past two years. As I disappear into the Delta twilight, I will never forget the chance I've had to work with you. I'm relieved to know that I will be remembered. I know that Jeffrey Katzenberg will never forget my name because he never knew it in the first place. <laughs> In closing, <laughs> allow me to say three little words to Bradley Cooper. Where is he? Call me, maybe. Star of the upcoming film, Trance, Rosario Dawson. A group of British retirees make plans to settle down in an opulent, peaceful retreat in Jaipur, India. When the resort turns out to be as rundown and hectic as the city, their lives and relationships are forever transformed. This is the best exotic Marigold Hotel. Come and spend your autumn years in an Indian palace. It's a luxury development where all the residents are in their golden years. Like the coast of Florida. Yeah, but with more elephants. Welcome to the best exotic Marigold Hotel. Oh, I want to stay at the other hotel, the one that's in the brochure. How can you bear this country? What do you see that I don't? Well, the light, colors, smiles. It teaches me something. <laughs> You're not worried about the danger of having sex at your age. If she dies, she dies. Please welcome Golden Globe nominee Salma Hayek and from the upcoming comedy Admission, Paul Rudd. They drink, they do drugs, they lie, they have a huge ego and they are not to be trusted. But uh, that's just their agents. <laughs> Here are the nominees for uh, Best Actor TV Series Drama. Steve Buscemi, Boardwalk Empire. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. Jeff Daniels, The Newsroom. John Hamm, Mad Men. Damian Lewis, Homeland. Okay. And the Golden Globe goes to Damian Lewis. This is the first win and third nomination for Damian Lewis. He was previously nominated for his role on the miniseries Band of Brothers. Thank you, uh, thank you, gosh, thank you. Um, to all the Hollywood Foreign Press, uh, all of you out there, uh, we are... Uh, 
All of us at Homeland, the last 18 months, we've been on the most extraordinary, wonderful journey, and to have picked up a little piece of treasure like this along the way is a, is a great perk. So, thank you. Um, of course, the best journeys are always shared, and so I would like to share this with the best cast and crew working in TV today, sweltering it out in intolerable heat in North Carolina. I'd like to share it with Alex and Howard. Uh, that's uh, Ganser and Gordon. I'd like to share it with the other Alex, with Meredith, with Chip, and with Henry. I'd like to share it with everyone at Showtime and Fox. Um, there are some people who've been on a longer journey with me, a more arduous journey altogether. Uh, some girls back in London, Alex, Stephanie, and Pippa, who found me first shouting on stage when I was a drama student and have nannied me ever since. To Brian Swardstrom, the best dressed man in Hollywood. Um, I'd also like to share it uh, with Annette and Jenny. My wife, Helen, my darling, I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Just before I go, I want to dedicate this to my mom, who I know is up there tonight looking down on me, bursting with pride and telling everyone up there all around her how well her son is doing in acting. <laughs> um, mom, I love you. Hollywood Foreign Press, thank you very much. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good? All right, great. Okay. Something about the best, uh... Bang. Are we? Boardwalk Empire. Downton Abbey, season two. Homeland. The Newsroom. And the Golden Globe goes to... <laughs> Homeland. Accepting the Golden Globe for Homeland is executive producer Alex Ganza. Thank you, and thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press. I, I just wish you all could have seen Claire Danes, eight months pregnant, holding a steel pipe, being chased down a drainage tunnel by Abu Nazir at three o'clock in the morning, over and over again, take after take. All of us at Homeland, well, we fairly killed ourselves this year, trying to live up to the hype of that first season, and this award tells me that maybe, maybe we just didn't screw it up. So I've got a couple people to thank. Most importantly, all the people at 20th Television and Fox 21, uh, especially Dana Walden, Gary Newman, and um, Bert Salke. Um, I'd like to thank the cast and crew who are just unbelievable, all our writers. Um, and I want to say goodbye to David Harewood, Naveed Nagabin, and Jamie Sheridan, whose characters were sacrificed on the altar of the story this season. We miss you guys, and we will always include you as part of our family. Howard? Uh, Alex, thank you so much for doing such a terrific job running this show. Um, I want to thank Rick Rosen for introducing Alex and I to uh, Gideon Raff and Avi Nir, whose Israeli series ours is uh, inspired by. Uh, Les Moonves, Matt Blank, David Nevins, everyone at Showtime, thank you so much for your partnership. It's, it's a gift that keeps on giving. And finally, I want to thank everybody who watches the show. Thank you for giving us the chance to do something we are very proud to be a part of. Thank you very much. Which films will win for Best Motion Picture Awards? We've got the answers and more Hollywood luminaries when we return. To introduce the film Argo, John Goodman and Tony Mendez.
This next film is the amazing true story inspired by the most important movie never made, a plan devised by this man, real-life CIA agent Intelligence star recipient and hero, Tony Mendez. The year was 1979, as protesters in Iran stormed the U.S. Embassy and took hostages. Six Americans, six Americans managed to take refuge in the Canadian Embassy. We needed a plan to bring them home brought to the big screen and nominated for five Golden Globes. This is Argo. I need you to help me make a fake movie. You came to the right place. During the takeover, six people escaped. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. You can't build cover stories around a movie that doesn't exist. You need a producer. You want to set up a movie in a week and walk the Brady Bunch out of the most watched city in the world. Suicide missions had better odds than this. We don't know what movie people do. If they're caught, they will be taken. Probably not alive. You really know Warren Beatty? Yes, I do. I took a leak next to him once at the Golden Globes. Here are the stars of the upcoming action thriller Parker, Jennifer Lopez, and Jason Statham. This year's nominated composers have created scores which beautifully enhance the emotional moments of each film. Here are the nominees for Best Original Score. Life of Pi, Michael Dana. Argo, Alexandre Desplat. Anna Karenina, Dario Marianelli. Cloud Atlas, Tom Tikva, Johnny Climat, Reinhold Heil. Lincoln, John Williams. And the Golden Globe goes to. I didn't open it now, look. <laughs> Michael Dana. This is Michael Dana's first win and first nomination. He wins tonight for his score of Life of Pi. Bringing the Golden Globe to the stage is international music star Yoshiki. Where's Zhang? Where's Zhang? Um, thank you, Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Well, uh, I felt very, very blessed, uh, even before this, and I speak for the whole cast and crew, uh, to be part of the whole Life of Pi experience, a uh, beautiful special film, a film of a lifetime, and I want to say thank you to Fox for being crazy enough to make this movie. Um, and uh, I, I want to share this award um, with my director, Ang Lee. There you are. Um, Ang, I will always treasure this voyage we made together. Thank you for guiding us all to, to shore so safely. Um, I want to shout out to my music crew, Rob and Dunk, the musicians and singers all over the world that we recorded for this. My mom and dad, the gift of music that you gave me, thank you so much. Uh, everyone at Fox, uh, it was like working with family, thank you so much. And my agents, Robert Messenger, Voss Vangelos, my buddy's back in Toronto watching, my kid's back in Toronto watching, and most of all, in a room full of starlets, the most beautiful woman here, my wife, Aperna. Thank you for your years of support and patience and love. It gets me through every day. Thank you. From the airwaves to the stage, 
these are the all, these are all amazing artists. But tonight they're nominated for their work in film. Nominees for the best original song are from Act of Valor for you. Music and lyrics by Monty Powell, Keith Urban. From Stand Up Guys, Not Running Anymore. Music and lyrics by John Bon Jovi. Oh, yeah. Never hit both feet on the floor. From The Hunger Games, Safe and Sound. Music and lyrics by Taylor Swift, John Paul White, Joy Williams, T Bone Burnett. From Skyfall, Skyfall. Music and lyrics by Adele, Paul Epworth. From Les Miserables, Suddenly. Music by Claude Michel Schoenberg. Lyrics by Herbert Kretschmer, Alan Bublio. And the Golden Globe goes to... Yes. Skyfall. <laughs> Music and lyrics by Adele and Paul Epworth. This is the first win and first nomination for Adele, who is part of this winning team. She has previously won nine Grammys and four American Music Awards. I've come out for a night out with my friend Ida. We're new mums. We've literally come for a night out. I was not expecting this. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, it's very strange to be here. Um, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your world for a night. It's amazing. We've been pissing ourselves laughing all. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press. I never thought I'd ever say that. Sony Pictures. Oh, sorry. MGM, um, Sam Mendes, Paul Letworth, who I did the song with, Daniel Craig, for being such a wonderful bond. Um, and this is for my boyfriend, Simon, who convinced me to do it, and my lovely son. Thank you so much. Yeah.